Peter Delapena here with USA Captain Monang Patel after a record-breaking performance in USA's 31-run win over Canada in the second T20I. Congratulations on the win and also Thank being you. named player of the match. 230, a record total for USA and T20Is. What made the magic happen today? I think we, we've been planning and we've been talking in the team meetings that uh, we want to play fearless cricket, being smart and happy that we could uh, apply ourselves here. With me, special, especially uh, me and Steven today, we took two overs to assess the pitch because we were not sure how the pitch is going to behave. And as soon as we saw the pitch, the ball was coming nice to the bat, uh, we started playing our shots and um, uh, happy that uh, we could use the power play really well. You certainly did, 81 for none after the power play. You and Steven shared a century partnership 103 runs for the first wicket in less than nine overs. You said it took an over to get settled and then in that second over, Steven started to get going and then in that third over was a really devastating over. You hit three fours and a six off Rishiv Joshi. How did this pitch compare to the first pitch you played on a couple days ago? Uh, I mean, as I said, uh, the ball was coming nice. It was kidding. Uh, it wasn't stopping. We thought like it, it might hold. Uh, the pitch we played the first game it was two pa two pace pitch. Uh, some of the short of length balls were holding. Some of them were skidding through. So few of the shots were tough to play on that pitch. And here, as soon as we saw the ball was coming on uh, with the one pace and it was coming really nice. Uh, so we were just uh, making sure we hold our shape and uh, uh, play our shots. Nine fours and two sixes for you and your 68 top scoring for USA. When you look good, one of the key things that stands out is, is your comfort level driving on the up when you take a step or two down the track. We saw that the other day. We saw it again today. What gets you into that mode where you play that go-to shot? I think I, I personally I have a template uh, when I go to bat and uh, as soon as I feel like I'm watching the ball really nice and uh, the pitch is helping uh, me me personally for my shots then I like to go down and play my shots which is my strength and don't go out of the box and uh, first if I get a couple of boundaries initially in my first 10 or 15 balls uh, I feel like I'm in the game. You mentioned Steven Taylor with a half century as well, and then Andres House also made 57, second half century in a row in just his second match for USA. He looks really good, but there was a bit of concern there. He kept on clutching at his right hamstring. He didn't take the field at all. What's his health status going forward for the rest of the series? I mean, nothing to worry. He just had a small legal. Uh, we didn't want to take risks because uh, to be playing back-to-back -back games tomorrow also. So we just wanted to make sure that he gets treatment. And uh, I think he should be good for, uh, for tomorrow's game. Canada looked like they were in with a series shot at the halfway stage, 100 for one after 10. And they needed 131 off the final 10 overs, which certainly seemed doable. Uh, but there was a collective effort in the bowling unit. Sarbanesh Volker came out in the 11th over, got Pargat Singh for his second wicket. Nisarg Patel got Aaron Johnson for 74, top scored, driving to long off. And then Shadley Van Skalkvig took two wickets. He was a bit expensive, but he, he took a couple wickets at key times. How much did the bowlers get out of being able to see the wicket in the first inning and how it was behaving in terms of adapting their planes to how they bowled as Canada went along in their chase? I think um, coming into the second innings, uh, it was mostly to read the batsman, what's his strength, and uh, I felt like uh, we initially in the first 10 overs, we weren't that proactive. Uh, we gave a lot of boundaries uh, to uh, the Johnson uh, in his strength where he, he was playing uh, the pull shot, cut shot and mostly towards the mid wicket side and he was using the wind really well. We could have been more proactive and we could have reacted straight away and um, executed our plan. Um, but yeah, as I said, like, you know, it's a learning lesson and I, I feel like uh, our bowlers will come back stronger in the second game. On a day where there's so many positives to take, what for you was the biggest positive out of today? I think, uh, firstly, the first half we played the way we wanted to play. Uh, we executed our plan and we made sure that we, like personally, myself and Stephen, started the momentum and we carried forward in the last over. So happy with the batting department. And even the, after 10th over, 
we came back really strong. We knew that we were just one wicket uh, short, and we got those crucial uh, uh, wickets at different intervals. So happy with the performance. What, if anything, do you feel is a key area of focus that you'd like to see improvement on going into tomorrow's match? Um, as I said, like from bowling, I want uh, bowlers to be proactive. Like uh, instead of uh, waiting for, or reacting for after a couple of overs or a couple of balls, I want to have the plan and make sure that we don't give easy runs. Let them work hard. I know they uh, credit to Johnson; he played really well. But I thought like we gave him really uh, bad balls to score runs. Anything else you'd like to say about today's performance? I mean, happy with the way we played today and uh, we just want to make sure that we carry forward this performance and uh, make sure we carry the positives and learn from our mistakes and uh, we just want to make make sure we get better every every game. There you have it from USA captain Monica Tell, player of the match in today's win over Canada. Congratulations again. Thank you.